What did you dream of tonight? I dragged my eyes to his, haunted and bleak. She had me spiked to the wall, like Claire better, and the adder was... <sighs> I ran my hands over my face. Lucian rose, stalking to me. The ripple of fear and pain in my own words masked my scent enough, masked my own power as my dark snares picked up a slight vibration in the house. Lucian paused half a foot from me. He didn't so much as object as I threw my arms around his neck, burying my face against his warm, bare chest. It was seawater from Tarquin's own gift that slipped from my eyes, down my face, and onto his golden skin. Lucian slid an arm around my waist, the other threading through my hair to cradle my head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He held me, stroking soothing lines down my back, and I calmed my weeping, those seawater tears drying up like wet sand in the sun. I lifted my head from his sculpted chest at last, my fingers digging into the hard muscles of his shoulders as I peered into his concerned face. I took deep, heaving breaths, my brows nodding and mouth parting as I... What's going on? Lucian whipped his head toward the door. Tamlin stood there, face a mask of cold calm. The beginnings of claws glinted at his knuckles. We pushed away, too swiftly to be casual. I had a nightmare. I straightened my nightgown. I... I didn't want to wake the house. Tamlin was just staring at Lucian, whose mouth had tightened into a thin line as he marked those claws, still half drawn. I had a nightmare. I gripped Tamlin's arm and led him from the room before Lucian could so much as open his mouth. I closed the door, but could still feel Tamlin's attention fixed on the mail behind it. He didn't sheathe his claws, didn't summon them any further, either. I strode the few feet to my room, watching Tamlin assess the hall. The distance between my door and Lucian's. Good night. I shut the door in Tamlin's face.